Hi everybody, I'm Mike Nelson. Let's take a look at the drought conditions across, especially the western United States. They remain very severe in many locations. As you can see from western Nebraska and Kansas down to the Panhandle of Texas throughout much of Colorado and especially down about the entire Colorado River Basin, we have extreme drought conditions in many locations. In comparison, it's very wet over the southern Mississippi Valley, like they need to have more moisture there, right there in that river valley. So I want to show you some examples of just what's been going on in the West in recent years. Uh, this was June 2019, Lake Oroville in California, one of the largest reservoirs in the state. By last summer, even lower and by this summer, when we get to July, it will be even lower than that. Uh, similarly, this is Shasta Lake in California, June of 2019, compared to what's happened by July of 2021. And with the continued drought conditions they've had in California, these reservoirs are getting severely, alarmingly low. Here's a more familiar one. This is Lake Powell, and this is just below the Glen Canyon Dam. And look at how that has fallen 30 feet. That was from August 2020 to July 2021, and we're seeing record lows now on Lake Powell to the point that they may not be able to generate power out of those lakes. Here's another example of that. You can see that bathtub ring that's become very, very famous in Lake Powell as it's now as low as it's been since they started to fill the reservoir decades ago. I don't have a lot of great news on the extended forecast. It's calling for warmer than average conditions across the West and drier than average conditions, Colorado all the way through the Colorado River drainage basin. And the 90 day forecast is not any rosier than that. Wetter than average in the Great Lakes, again, like they need more water. And then drier than average conditions here combined with warmer than average conditions across much of the central and southwest United States. Let's not forget the climate change connection, the record setting wildfires, the heat waves and the drought in other parts of the world, the shrinking Arctic ice, the increased tropical activity, all related to climate change. And I have a book out on climate change called the world's littlest book on climate. Ten facts in 10 minutes about carbon dioxide. You can get a free download. I'll leave this up here for just a second. So you maybe do a screen grab to uh, get that uh, email or that uh, IP address so you can get that free download of the world's littlest book on climate. We really appreciate your time and your interest.